Hello, Grade 12s. Our series is about acid and bases, and in today's lesson, we will focus on the ionization and dissociation constants. We have previously learned that equilibrium is a chemical reaction in a closed system, where the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. Acid-base reactions can also experience equilibrium when the acid-base reaction is taking place in a closed system. The equilibrium constant of an acid is called the ionization constant of an acid. It is represented by the symbol Ka. Let us write the ionization constant of a strong acid from this acid-base equilibrium reaction. A dilute hydrochloric acid ionizes completely in water to form a hydronium ion and a chloride ion. The ionization constant of hydrochloric acid is given as the concentration of the hydronium ion multiplied by the concentration of the chloride ion, divided by the concentration of the hydrochloric acid. Water does not form part of the expression. Let's consider a weak acid. Weak acids do not ionize completely in water. The ionization chemical reaction of acetic acid is given as Acetic acid ionizes in water to form a hydronium ion and an acetate ion. The ionization constant expression is given as The concentration of the hydronium ion multiplied by the concentration of the acetate ion, divided by the concentration of acetic acid. The equilibrium reaction of strong acids lies more on the product side because the values of the ionization constants of strong acids are larger than the ionization constants of weak acids. Let us consider the ionization of water, called autoionization or self-ionization. Water ionizes in water. This explains why water is an ampholite, a substance which acts as both an acid and a base. The ionization constant of water is given as Kw, equal to the concentration of the hydronium ion multiplied by the concentration of the hydroxyl ion. The value of Kw is 10 to the exponent negative 14. Let's talk about the dissociation constant of a base. Sodium hydroxide is an example of a strong base. It dissociates completely in water. The dissociation equation is given as sodium hydroxide dissociates in water into sodium ion and hydroxyl ion. The dissociation constant of a base is given as Kb equal to the concentration of the sodium ion multiplied by the concentration of the hydroxyl ion divided by the concentration of sodium hydroxide. A weak base does not dissociate completely. An example is given in this equation as the ammonia ionizes in water into ammonium and hydroxyl ion. The dissociation constant, Kb, is equal to the concentration of ammonium multiplied by the concentration of the hydroxyl ion divided by the concentration of ammonia. The dissociation constant values of a strong base are larger than the dissociation values of a weak base. The strength of an acid or a base can tell us something about the ionization or dissociation constants, or about the pH, or about the conductivity of electricity. Let us talk more about acids. A strong acid in water conducts electricity better than a weak acid due to complete ionization. Strong acids have bigger ionization constant values than weak acids. Also, the pH values of strong acids are smaller. Strong bases dissociate completely and have bigger dissociation constant values. They also conduct electricity better than the weak bases. The pH values of strong bases are bigger than those of weak bases.
This brings us to the end of our lesson on the ionization and dissociation constants. You will find more information about acids and bases at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video too. Goodbye.